Big Show. I say the way on that, go to your hand. I'm going to shoot my leg. You know, I caught a mess around with another man. All right. I'm going to shoot my leg. You're a cold mess and I'm an animal man Ha! Oh, and that ain't too cool Hey, hey Joe Heard you shot a woman down Shot her down the ground Hey, hey Joe Heard you shot a lady down I'm going to do a lesson on his first single and this is Hey Joe and uh, Hey Joe he didn't write the song he um, covered it and he covered it before he was famous in his uh, band Jimmy James and the Blue Fan and the Blue Flames back in New York and then when he was discovered by Chas Chandler and um, you know uh, Linda Keith um, he came over to London um, and he recorded Hey Joe uh, found the experience, chosen his musicians, and uh, Hey Joe was the first single. Uh, very clean sounding guitar, uh, Hey Joe was. Um, very clean for Jimi Hendrix. And um, the live versions have a bit of grit to the, the amps uh, when he played it live. Um, but uh, he also played it in standard on the record, and then he played it in E flat, and sometimes drop, drop D, well not drop D, sometimes D standard um, when he did heavy gigs uh, to save his voice and obviously to save his uh, fingers as well, um, you know, from uh, hurting, you know, from playing a hell of a lot. So um, basically, um, Hey Joe starts with this intro. Um, now on the record, I think it slides and goes, does that. So, it, it, but I, I usually play the, the live version which goes so it does that the intro so the intro all you're doing is um it actually slides so if i was going to slide it i would use my second finger like that or, or, or just first one i'd probably use the first one actually um you can use first one or second one but basically you've got the d on the b string and the E, the open E, and you're just gonna go slide it to the fifth fret from the third fret. And then the third fret, which is the D and the E. And then after that, you slide it down uh, on the G string from the fourth fret. You slide it down, slide the, the fourth to the second, then open G, basically. So you go with your second finger. G. And then after that, you've got a E chord. Which you're just picking the notes of an E chord, just going E, B, and then the rest of the chord. So you've got this. Basically like that. So it's like. And then slide. So you got. Uh, after that, it does. Um, I mean, it doesn't have to be exact, exactly. I mean, Jimmy played it differently every time, and so do I. I take that approach. Um, I play it sometimes with my first finger or second finger. Or, and I, if you notice, I go. I do that sometimes, and then after the open G, I have to go. E here. But sometimes I just go or, and yeah, you know, sometimes I just go hammer on on the D and the E. And then after that, he does like an octave thing, um, which goes. So it goes, it just slides into the fifth fret. Just naturally slide into the fifth fret, just feel the song. And you just go D, octave, 
so like a Westmore Gallery type of thing. So you've got D there, and then D here. And you go, open E, D, and then you got E, and C sharp, octave C sharp. So fourth fret on the A, six on the G. So you're going, second fret on the A, and then fourth fret on the G. Yeah? Bye. 